Hi guys, my name is Roland and three weeks ago, I made this video. Ang... Ang ayoko lang kasi, yung bang... Kung may mangyayari maganda sa in the future, let's say... Basta, anything na maganda mangyayari sa'yo, parang may kulang. Lagi nang may kulang. Kasi, wala na dun yung parents mo eh. ba? Diba? Wala na dyan yung... yung... Pero yung pagyabangan, yung ganon. And after 3 weeks of not doing anything, not doing any video or vlog for my YouTube channel, now I think I'm back. <laughs> I think, kasi hindi naman talaga totally healed pa, pero kahit pa paano, I'm doing okay. So, ang sa akin lang, I decided na um, to force myself to get out from the situation. Kasi medyo super lungkot, okay? Super uh, sama ng pakiramdam. Now, um, people might wonder, ano ba yung depression? At napaka OA naman eh, ng mga taong nagkakaroon ng ganyan. Guys, depression is not a joke. Okay? Now, um, if you will go back around 1980s or mid 80s and you will tell your friends or your family na you're suffering from um, stress hindi lang maitindihan yun pero bakit ngayon alam na alam natin pero nung time na yun yung mga mas nakakaalam they know what stress is all about okay so ang sa akin lang uh, medyo complicated i-discuss um, explain kung ano yung depression but um, it's real yun lang yun sa akin ako naman during those uh, three weeks naman uh, never did I contact you or if you're my friend or if you're um, a relative or what never did I contact you para humingi ng tulong ang sa akin lang um, it was just my way of releasing the tension of releasing the um, loneliness kasi ayoko naman pumunta ng psychiatrist dahil feeling ko uh, amahal nun tsaka it's something na tolerable lang naman for me it was just um, severe loneliness or sadness I don't know if you can even categorize it as depression but um, I want to say yes pero uh, tolerable naman siya sa akin um, feeling nun at that time was uh, same lang nung namatian ka pero hindi lang isang tao kundi sabay-sabay marami sila uh, that's the feeling okay so if you have your family intact can you just imagine waking up without them anymore by your side so di ba nakot nun so that's what I felt and that's what I'm feeling pa hanggang ngayon pero I'm pretending myself to be okay because I realized na the first step talaga is to pretend na mag-smile ka then that smile kahit pa paano um, will lead to a good uh, feeling throughout the day so in my case I'm pretending na I'm okay pero uh, kahit na mapapaano that kind of pretension naman um, it gives me the boost para uh, makapag uh, what do you call this makagalaw ng maayos because um, these past few days talaga uh, hindi ako makatulog eh. Nakatulog pa ako around 8 na in the morning and it's not really productive for me because most of my customers do call me around 8 or 9 pataas. So, every time they text me, every time they call me, nagigising po ako. So, if ever, if ever na makakatulog ako ng 8 o'clock, nagigising na po ako ng mga 1 or 12. So, ilang oras lang po yun. So, it's, it's not really healthy for me. And, papalapit na po yung December, I'll be very busy by then. So, I have to force myself to sleep early para in the morning gising na gising po ako na I don't have any um, what do you call this feeling of uh, what do you call this being sleepy or what diba? um, now what pushed me to uh, change my way it's because um, recently lang po may nakausap po ako na kabashmate ko sa high school I won't mention his name Pero I just realized na uh, despite my situation, mas may grabe pa pala sa akin. Okay? 
um, ang situation niya po kasi is wala na rin po siyang uh, father pagkatapos pero yung mom niya buhay pa the thing lang uh, both of them, siya tsaka yung mother niya nagkaroon ng stroke yung friend ko po is hindi na po nakapagtrabaho dahil sa situation niya tapos yung brother niya naman is um, unreliable naman when it comes sa mga finances so nasa isip ko paano sila mabubuhay kung walang work yung friend ko, yung mom niya matanda na rin that kind of situation really made me realize na talagang mas okay pa pala ako pero kung tutuusin talaga kahit yung friend na yon yung friend ko ngayon alam ko na mas better pa siya compared sa iba pero with that lesson na natutunan ko um, I realize na talagang hindi ka dapat magbukmok kasi may nagmamahal pa rin sa'yo okay nandiyan pa rin yung Diyos para tulungan ka I don't know how um, pero one way or another pa realize mo talaga na uh, nandyan yung tulong now going back to the topic of depression before kasi na realize ko rin na, uh, na, 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 na remember ko rin na there was this documentary na panood ko now sabi nila doon if you feel na you're about to lose it if you feel na you're about to commit suicide or what drop everything as you drop everything then you go out of your house lumabas ka, pumunta ka ng mall you talk to your friends you ask if it's possible na doon ka muna matulog sa kanila do not go home huwag ka muna matulog doon sa inyo makitulog ka sa bahay ng mga kaibigan mo so with that mabibigyan ka ng pagkakataon to think it over yung katangahan na gagawin mo okay? katangahan why? I call that katangahan talaga because ang sayang kasi I had this premise na hindi ka bibigyan ng Diyos ng problema na hindi mo kaya that should be the premise okay? so kung ano yung binigay siya yung problema that means kaya mo yon. so the bigger the problem the more proud you should be ibig sabihin nun ang laki ng tiwala ng Diyos sa'yo kung ba't binigay sa'yo yung problema ngayon kasi in my case sabi ko grabe na itong lungkot na ito hindi ko lahat ito kaya parang ganon but then sa subconscious ko lagi ko naisip na alam ko na may tao out there I don't know what nationality I don't know kung saan siya nakalugar pero mas may grabe pa sa situation ko and I should be ashamed na itong narandaman ko feeling ko lugmok na lumok na ako and then, naisip ko rin na kung ito yung binigay na challenge sa akin ng Diyos, ibig sabihin nun, ang laki ng tiwala niya sa akin. Because, I also believe na the toughest battles, binibigay lang po yun ng Diyos sa mga toughest children niya. Hindi po yung binibigay sa mga weakling. Remember that. So, nung binigay sa akin yung, yung challenge na yun, parang, proud ba na ako kapa paano? So, yung mga yun, yun ang nagbigay sa akin ng uh, reason for me to get up and then change my ways so I hope the bang guys that through this vlog or this simple vlog uh, kahit pa paano yung mashare ko lang po sa inyo to at may matutunan po kayo just in case na um, narandaman nyo rin yung ganong klaseng feeling at yung narandaman ko o narandaman ko pa hanggang ngayon um, I will be posting this link uh, tinan nyo lang po sa description kung hindi po kayo maka- kung nahiya kayo makipag-usap sa mga friends nyo may mga grupo po na pwede nyo lapitan and they will help you they will listen to you pero mas maganda po talaga din kung meron kang masasabi ng mga kaibigan mo or mga kamag-anak mo na willing makinig po sa inyo okay so again don't be shy kung if you feel depressed and I just want you to know na hindi po siya ka-OA yan that is real So, kung narandaman niyo po yan, speak your mind. Okay? Ang ayaw ko lang talaga is yung mga tao sa Facebook na po-post ng mga pag mag slash slash ng, ng risk, parang ganun. That's stupid. That's crazy. Don't do that. Okay? Kasi, again, sa sinabi ko kanina, the premise is, eh, the premise is, kapag binigyan ka ng problema ng Diyos, ibig sabihin nung kaya mo yan. Okay? So, guys, I hope na Uh, may natutunan po kayo sa vlog na to this very simple and short vlog and I hope na sa susunod nating mga videos which is again may luto-luto, may food 
uh, it will be quite different na from from the normal videos na ginagawa ko pero i hope guys na uh, you will still uh, stick around and um, share my videos okay thank you guys for watching